I believe we are on the doorstep of major sweeping change in college sports as we know them. And, and we have already seen a lot of that with name, image, and likeness and all of that. But with Cincinnati being basically told yesterday, there's no room at the end for you here, guys. Like, like I, I know it's cute that you beat Notre Dame, and it's cute that you're obviously a good team, but there's just no way we're letting you into our four-team party at the end of the year. That was, to me, the unmistakable message that was sent by College Football's committee yesterday. And I ask you, Paul, A, do you agree with me that that was the message? And B, if so, do you um, have a problem with it or do you believe that is the right way to go about it? I have no problem with it because you you have to be, be judged on, on your resume, and the resume is not very good. Uh, outside of Notre Dame, they don't have anything else to, to show. While, while, while other leagues are playing competitive uh, conference schedules like the Big Ten, like the, the SEC, and, you know, what, what's interesting is that happened last night. And what's happening late today, uh, right down the street from where the committee met, is all of the major powers in intercollegiate athletics are meeting to discuss this playoff expansion, which, Greeny, we discussed five months ago on your show because mm-hmm. it was a done deal. Mm-hmm. They had agreed to do it, and possibly as early as the season after next. Uh, but then uh, the SEC expanded, uh, hurt feelings uh, reigned. And, and everybody said, you know, no, we don't want to do this right now. We want to put it off. Well, uh, the only solution is to expand the playoff and to do it, it, it within a, a re- relatively short period of time as opposed to waiting uh, five years from now. But otherwise, uh, schools like Cincinnati, and they play great football. They, they nearly beat Georgia last year uh, in, 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 in a bowl game, uh, are going to just be knocking their heads against the wall and playing, play, playing for uh, bowl games as opposed to the CFP. That's correct. And my response to your saying their schedule isn't good enough is there's nothing they can do about that, right? So what we're we're both essentially saying is the same thing, which is the committee has said if you don't play in one of the big conferences, you're not welcome here because they can't do any more than they've done. They play in the conference they play in, and they beat Notre Dame on the road. So there's nothing more they can possibly do. And, And that was really where I came to my conclusion that the committee's message is Outside of the five conferences that we deal with, no one else is – we're not even really giving any consideration to anyone else. No, and, and, and in the parlance of college football, you really can't do much more than go to South Bend and win. Right. I mean, that, right. that is a, as, as, as blue plate uh, a win as you can get, uh, and, and it's still not good enough. And, 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 that's, and that's really too bad, but that, that's why this, you know, if we, if we want to eliminate conversations like this, we have to expand the playoff. Whether it's justified, I, I don't even care anymore. I, I, we, we've had that conversation already, Greedy. Uh, I, I think this may help a little bit, but give this committee credit, though. They, they, didn't, play, they didn't just you know, throw something up in, uh, in the air and see which way the wind is blowing. Uh, and a lot of people today are screaming and hollering. It's unfair. Well, it, it is unfair, but it, it's, it's the reality of the situation. When you have a 13-person committee that picks your playoff, uh, I mean, think about it, if the NFL, if that's how we pick the NFL playoff. Right. I mean, we would be depending on 13 people in, in, a, in a hotel room eating caviar and sipping wine. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.